the place note tool you can get to that tool in your main toolbar right here or you can go to your construction toolbar and grab it right here this one here will bring up two dialog boxes one that says place note with the parameters behind it and also the text whenever you place that text inside here you got two different ways to place a note one is place note and one is place call out call out is something that we don't typically utilize here at MoDOT but if you need to if you want to utilize that you can so we'll just demonstrate the one that says place note you have textile which is right here we don't utilize textiles so we'll just leave it blank dimension styles we don't really have anything set up for dimension styles so we can leave it blank text rotation depending on how you want your text rotated horizontal vertical or inline most typical is going to be horizontal so we'll leave it set to that here's where you can have a text frame if you need to put a frame around it I'm going to leave it set to none for this example your height and your width of your text we'll just leave it set to 0.12 also you have this expand arrow that you can expand it out to get some more options depending on how you want to place that text you have the option that says automatic and manual depend on how what location where you want to place that text at and we'll demonstrate both of those in our example here we'll just leave it set to automatic for right now leader type you got line or curve normally you would just leave it set to line but if you need to place a curve out there that is that option right there where you want to start at whether it's at the terminator or at the text wherever you want to start it at we'll set it to the terminator and then your horizontal attachment whether you want it auto left or right because there are certain times maybe where you want it justified to the left side that's where you click on left and no matter how you try to place that note it'll be justified to the left or the right and we'll demonstrate both those examples as we go through the tool we'll leave it set to auto for right now you do have the option that says inline leader which will put a leader on that particular note whenever you place it and we'll demonstrate that one also so we have the parameters set up the way we want it we'll just use these parameters as, as our first example we'll come in here and place the text for our note now we just identify our start point and I'll just snap to the somewhere on the shape here left click once drag it out depending on where I want to place it and you'll notice right now I have my horizontal attachment set to auto so whatever side that I put it on you'll see that my node's going to automatically jump to that side so that's what that horizontal attachment does and normally you would set it at, at auto but we'll change it to the left and the right here as we go through our example so if we're ready to drop off our note we just left click to drop it off and we're finished now if I come in here and I do it a little bit differently let's say I come in here and I check on this one that says inline leader and I place that note out there again you'll notice that it's going to have a leader coming off that particular note that I'm placing so if you want to utilize the inline leader you can do that all you have to do is check mark that box and you'll, it'll have that inline leader attached to it right now we have our location set to automatic so whenever we do it we do left click once left click to drop it off and we're finished if I come in here and change that from automatic to manual and I try to come out here and place the note I'll left click once I'll left click again to drop it off but now you'll notice that you have the option to even place more lines on top of that note that you're placing just like what I'm doing here so if I need to go around something you could do that probably something that's not very typical but that is an option that that is out there so that's what the manual allows you to do and once you're finished with it you right click to reset it and it places that note out there so that's what the manual allows you to do kind of manually place that note out there I'm going to do a few undo to kind of clean my screen up I'm going to change it back to automatic which is probably the most typical situation that you'll have now let's go ahead and demonstrate this horizontal attachment portion of it let's go ahead and change it to left and I'll identify where I want to place my note at left click once 
and now whenever I try to place it out here you'll notice that my note won't flip over to the other side whenever I place that note basically it leaves the left side open and places that note on the right side just like what I'm doing here so if I need to go around something you know if I need to place a note like this I can do that if I had it set to auto it would jump to the other side so if I change that to left you can place a note out there just like that or if I want to do it vice versa if I set it to the right you notice that it'll say open to the right side and it'll place my note portion of it on the left side so that's what that horizontal attachment options allows you to do and if you don't want the inline leader just uncheck it and you don't have that inline leader attached to it that's kind of a personal preference if you want that or not so that's using the place note tool and all the options that are contained inside the place note tool